Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom, the conspiracy theorist from Tom's Tech Time. I'm greeting you, and because today is the worldwide aluminum foil day, let's just pretend it was at least, I created those windsurfer antennas for you guys, and I attached those to my remote controller to boost the FPV signal from my DJI Phantom 3. And that stuff really works. And if you want to watch a test of how that stuff works and how awesome it is, at the end of this video, there will be a link. And if you can find that link in the description, of course, as well. But right now, let's just get right into the making of these little antennas and uh, stay tuned. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Otherwise, you won't know what happens next. The astronaut maybe never was on moon. Let's take a look at what we need to build our own windsurfer antenna. First off, we need to open up a browser and type in www.tomstechtime.com slash antenna. You'll now find two templates, one in A4 format and another one in US letter size. Download and print the template that fits your paper format. Secondly, we need another piece of thicker paper. Mine weighs 100 grams per square meter. Next, some aluminum foil, some glue, a scissor, a cutter knife, and finally, we need some cello tape. In total, six cutty stripes only. If creating a bigger windsurfer antenna, it's kind of useful to use some cardboard instead of the paper. But because for the RC, the windsurfer can't be that big, thicker paper has worked out better for me than cardboard due to its flexibility. The cardboard often was a little too strong for the cello tape and ripped the entire structure apart. Okay, let's get started. First, we take the template and cut it in two halves so that both shapes are separated. Now, take the empty paper and cut it in half too. Put some glue onto one of the empty halves. Now, take some aluminum foil and stick it onto the paper and smooth it down. And while it rests, we can already go ahead and take the roundish printout, put some glue onto its back and stick it onto the other empty paper half, the one without the aluminum foil. Give it some rest as well. Next, take the squared printout and put some glue at its back and stick it onto the paper side of the aluminum paper. Give it some rest. And after letting the glue dry for a few minutes, take a scissor and cut out both structures carefully. Now take the cutter knife and the squared paper and cut through the red lines carefully and you will end up with six incisions. Now take the other piece of paper and cut an X into the two circles. Later on, you will stick your remote controller's antenna through these holes. So make them big enough, a little wider than the printed circles actually works best.
The final step is easy but takes some tact and a few minutes. Shove the six ends of the roundish cut through the six cutouts of the squared paper and pin them together using the six cutty cello tape stripes. Now, take your remote controller and shove the antennas through the holes and adjust the antennas. Now you're already done and can enjoy your very own windsurf antenna. But don't forget to create another one for the second antenna. And finally, your windsurf antennas will look like this. Please be cool and leave a donation so I can keep up the work. You'll find a donate button on tomstechtime.com slash donate. And uh, stay tuned, subscribe, leave a thumb up, leave a cool comment and uh, stay tuned, fly safe.